Ang accomplishment report po ay saka ginagawa kapag fully implemented na lahat ng programs. Now, this brings us to a bigger question. Kaka-encash nyo lang? May accomplishment report na agad kayo? How can this be possible, Ms. Acosta? Hindi pa po yung final na accomplishment report, ma'am. Ang business so, ko lang po yun kung magkano po ang ilinis ko sa kanya. Ilang klase ho accomplishment report tayo meron? Isang final at isang hindi final? Is that what you want to tell us? Yung binigay po niya sa akin is for me lang po at sa kanya. Para lang sa aming dalawa, ma'am. Hindi po yun yung final na accomplishment report after the implementation of the program under confidential funds po. Okay, if you are saying that this is not yet final, then walk us through, enlighten us, narrate to us, ano ho bang pagkakaiba nung sinasabi niyong hindi final doon sa final? Ang amount po, ma'am. Amount? Yes po, ma'am. Okay, can you please be specific? Because we have here an accomplishment report for the last quarter of 2022. And since kayo naman po ang ginaw, gumawa nito, and you, you prepared already for this hearing, I suppose, you are aware by heart kung anong laman ng accomplishment report na ito. Ano pong pagkakaiba nung hindi final sa final? Yung amount po, ma'am. Example, yung payment of rewards. Okay. Hmm. Tapos yung... Ano po yung hindi final na amount? Yung amount... Okay, to guide Miss Miss Acosta, Secretariat, can we please flash the accomplishment report for the last quarter of 2022? At kung may sinasabi po kayong accomplishment report na hindi final, will you be generous enough to share it with us? Wala po akong dala ngayon, ma'am. Yes, but for the next hearing, will you be willing to submit it to the committee? Yes po. Yes. Okay. Miss Acosta, we have here the final, I suppose, because this was provided by the COA. Accomplishment report for the last quarter of 2022. Ang sabi nyo po, sa amount lang kayo nagkakaiba. Yes po. Can you enlighten us? Bakit po nagkakaroon ng disparity sa amount? Kasi po, edi, example po yung payment of rewards, ma'am. Ang nilagay, hindi ako makakita. Secretary, can we provide instead a copy? You were pertaining to payment of reward. Ang nakalagay po dyan is 10 million. Yes, ma'am. Ano po bang nakalagay doon sa hindi final? Ang nilagay lang po niya doon is 8 million po. Okay. How about the purchase of information? Mm, so far, ito lang po ang aking maalala, ma'am. Makonfirm ko sa iyo na 8,000 lang po ang proposed proposed object of expenditure na binigay sa akin ni Sir Lachika. Ms. Acosta, with your object of expenditure, would you confirm with me na kung, kung anong items ang nakasulat sa object of expenditure, yun din po ang nakasulat dito sa accomplishment report. The only difference is with, with respect to the amount. Tama ho ba? Tama po. Tama. At ang inyo pong sinusunod ay yung object of expenditure na binibigay sa inyo ni Colonel Lachika. Tama din po? For releasing po. For releasing. Opo. But nevertheless, who prepared the object of expenditure? Si Sir Lachika po, ma'am. Sir Lachika. Kung si Sir Lachika po ang gumagawa ng object of expenditure at yun po ang sinusundan nyo sa pagre-release ng confidential fund, tama po bang sabihin? na si Colonel Lachika ang nasusunod sa preparation ng accomplishment report. Yes po. Pag binigay niya, niya sa akin ang final na accomplishment report po niya, ma'am, after po, maubos na ang pera at na-implement na niya ang lahat ng maayos ang, ang activities. I will remind you of your answer, Ms. Acosta. Ang sabi niyo po, si Colonel Lachika ang nasusunod sa preparation ng accomplishment report. Tama po? Yes po, ma'am. Okay. 
I wish to direct your attention to the left bottom portion of this accomplishment report. It says, prepared by Special Disbursing Officer, Gina F. Acosta. Yes, Paul. Is this not contradictory to what you said na ang nasusunod ay si Colonel Lachica? Gibis, pag final ko nito, ma'am, gibis ko po to sa binigay ni Sir Lachica na final accomplishment report. So, kinokopya ko lang po. Ibig sabihin, kayo po ay tagagawa lamang ni Colonel Lachica. Hindi naman po. So, ano pong ibig sabihin nyo na ang sinusundan nyo ay kung anong gustong ipalagay dito sa accomplishment report which is based on the object of expenditures provided by Colonel Lachica? Ang nilagay po niya sa object of expenditures po, ma'am, ay in connection na po sa aming gripper ng financial and physical plan po. Kasi kasama ko po siya paggawa ng financial and physical plan. Financial and physical plan. Sino po bang gumagawa ng financial and physical plan? Ang nagdadra po, ang nagprepare ako po at si Sir Lachica. Okay. Ano po ba ang trabaho ni Colonel Lachica? Malapit na po akong malito. Malapit ko na pong isipin ang disbursing officer ay si Colonel Lachica. Hindi po. What is the designation of Colonel Lachica, please? Siya po ang aming security officer. And a security officer? Ano ho bang trabaho ni Colonel Lachica? Is it her job to prepare the financial plan? Hindi po. Is siya... it her job to prepare the accomplishment report? In the financial po, siya po ang magbibigay sa akin ng information or guide kung ano po ang ang magiging uh, confidential activities po in relation sa confidential funds po na gagamitin. I hope you realize, Ms. Acosta, that you are the special disbursing officer. Yes po, ma'am. Alam ko po. And part of your job is to prepare the financial plan. Yes, As po. a matter of fact, the financial plan does not bear at all the signature or the name of Colonel Lachica. Yes po, pero sa kanya po ako humihingi ng inputs or information in, with regards to the implementation of all the projects included under confidential funds po. If you're asking for the possible program, uh, subject of expenditure, is it correct to say that you are soliciting some information only and not necessarily the one working with you in the preparation of financial plan? Magkaiba po yun. Ang hiningi, po, ang hiningi, hiningi ko po sa kanya, ma'am, is ano po, mga inputs po or, or guidance in preparation for the financial plan, especially related po sa confidential activities po. Ms. Acosta, do you understand your job as a special disbursing officer? Yes, ma'am. This is very significant job. Yes, ma'am. Because it entails so much trust and confidence. Yes, po. Because you are the one in charge of taking custody of the huge amount of money. Tama? Yes, ma'am. As a matter of fact, to ensure the fidelity of this money ni re require pa kayo ng fidelity fund bond bond tama po ba yes ma'am then why why do you keep on pointing to colonel chica kasi siya po ang may alam kung i-implement na po yung mga project under confidential plan funds who will be responsible in case this money is misappropriated who will be responsible in case this money is lost? Who will be responsible in case this money went to the wrong person? Sino po ba ang magiging responsable? Ako po. Because you are the special disbursing officer and not Colonel Lachica. Yes po. Let's go back to the question. 125 million po yun. You were saying... Ang object of expenditure is similar to the accomplishment report. The only difference is the amount. Yes, ma'am. Enlighten us. 
ano ang laman ng object expenditure totaling to 125 million reason why you fully turned over the entire amount. Ang laman po ng binigay niya sa akin ng object, object of expenditures ay yun pong pamaraan kung ano ang ginagawa niya. Can we please be specific? We're talking of huge amount of money, Ms. Acosta. This is 125 million. Of course, you realize the significance of this amount. And being the special disbursing officer, hindi mo ito basta ita turn over kung hindi mo nakikita na well tallied yung object of expenditure that you are referring to. Tama ba? Yes, ma'am. Pero may information na po ako na pag natanggap ko ang pera, ibigay ko po sa security officer namin. Even without the object of expenditure? Meron po. Okay, let's go back to your object of expenditure. Kasi ako, Ms. Acosta, if I am the custodian of 125 million and I was directed to turn over this to a certain person, I will be very careful to make sure that whatever's in the list tally to the entire amount of 125 million. Now tell us, ano ang laman ng object of expenditure? Ang laman ng ang laman po ng object of expenditures ay yun pong mga expected expenses sa pagpatupad po ng confidential activities. I know. Can you please state the item? Kanina po, ang sabi nyo, purchase of information, payment of reward. Ituloy nyo po yun. You even said that there's a payment of reward. Hindi nasunod yung 10 million. So, magkano po ang nasunod? Ito na po ang accomplishment report na final, ma'am. Yung giatas ko po sa liquidation report. Okay. So, are you changing your answer now? Kasi kanina po ang sabi nyo, object expenditure is not yet final. Accomplishment report is final. Yes po. Yes po. So, are you Iba referring to two different documents? Object expenditure and accomplishment report? Yes po, yan po ang gusto Dalawa. kong ipa gusto kong ipa rating po. And you were saying, ito na nga po 'yun. Ano bang ibig sabihin when you said, ito na nga po 'yun? What hindi, do you mean by that? Ang binigay po sa akin ni Sir Lachika, hindi po, hindi po ganito ang forma, ma'am. Simple lang po, ma'am. Okay. Para business po ng aking release ng pera Let para sa kanya, ma'am. Let me go back to answer a while ago. Ang sabi niyo po kanina, Ms. Acosta, Parehas ang items, the only difference is the amount. Opo, pero hindi po ganito ma'am, simple lang po ma'am. Yes, enlighten us. Magkano ang nakalagay sa purchase of information? Hmm. Less, or, less than 14 million po ma'am. Less than? Opo. Can't you remember the amount? Um, 12 million po. 12 million. Payment of reward. Ito po yung 8 million, ma'am. 8 million. Rentals. Um, rentals of rentals of safe houses. Ito po ang malaki, ma'am. How much? Ito na po ang amount na nabigay na niya sa akin doon sa kanyang How much, Ms. Acosta? 16 million po. 16? Opo. Purchase of supplies? Um, malaki po ito, ma'am. Nagiging 37 po. 37. Payment of incentives? No. Provision of medical and food aid? Hmm, di ko na ito maalala, ma'am. I'm sorry po, ma'am. Basta, eh, mo Basta yung tinali po. Payment of incentive? 11 po. 11. Would you know whether this amounts would total to 125 million exactly? Yes, ma'am. Gitotal ko po yun, ma'am. 120 million po. Ang... You were able to check if the items and the amounts provided in the object of expenditure total to 125 million. You check that? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Tanong, Ms. Acosta. What gave you the confidence? Ano ang nagbigay sa inyo? Nang lakas ng loob na ibigay ang buong 125 million kay Colonel Lachika considering that he is not the accountable officer because May... it is you 
who is the accountable officer. May approval po kay Ma'am Inday Sara. And without the approval of the Vice President, will you give that to Colonel Lachika? Hindi po. Do you know Colonel Lachika? Yes po, kasi siya po ang aming ground commander. How long ng have you known Colonel Lachika? Yung na-employ po ako after three months, yung na-employ po ako sa OBP, ma'am. How long have you known? Since 2022? Yes po, ma'am. Do you trust Colonel Lachika? I trust Lachika. I trust God at I trust Sir Lachika kasi ginatrust po siya ng aking head of office na In si Ma'am Inday words, Sara. In other words, the only reason why you are giving your trust to Colonel Lachika is because of the instruction of the Vice President. Yes, ma'am. Ma yes, ma'am. Without the instruction of the Vice President, you will never give the entire amount of 125 million to Colonel Lachika. Yes, ma'am. And do you realize also, Ms. Acosta, that as this bursting officer, there is a rule under PD 1445, bawal, a transfer, ang disbursement sa ibang tao. Pero ang boss ko po kasi ay si Ma'am Please Inday. answer the question, ma'am. Yes. Under uh, PD 1445, an authorized transfer of disbursement is prohibited. Are you aware of that? Yes, ma'am. And what you did is an unauthorized transfer. Tama po? Yes, ma'am. Pero may... In other words, you are liable for the unauthorized transfer of that money which is due for your disbursement. Tama po? Tama po, ma'am. Pero... Are you aware also na kung ito pong perang ito ay mapupunta sa mga hindi matitino na government officials at gagamitin for purpose other than its confidential purpose, you can be held liable yes, for malversation of public funds by negligence. Yes, alam ko po ma'am, pero nanaig po ang aking believe na may trust po may trust po ako kay Lachika dahil po, authorized po siya ni Ma'am Sara Duterte. And are you aware also that what Colonel Lachika did is he usurp ano your authority as special disbursing officer? Ang ginawa po ni Colonel Lachika ay pinakialaman na yung trabaho na dapat ay sa inyo. We call that usurpation of authority. Kasi po, wala po akong alam kung paano po i-implement ang mga confidential activities po, ma'am. Si Sir Lachika po, lang po ang may alam. Sandali po, bakit po wala kayong alam? You are the special disbursing officer. You prepare the financial plan. You are a signatory in the disbursement. You prepare the liquidation. You certify. You prepare the accomplishment report. Bakit wala po kayong alam? Wala po akong alam sa pag-implement po ng confidential activities po. Dahil po, hindi ko po yan uh, in line sa aking pinag-aralan, ma'am. But as the special disbursing officer, of course you realize you have the function of disbursing the fund. Yes po, pero may utos po sa akin na ibigay po kay Colonel Lachika kasi siya po ang expert, siya po ang may kaalaman kung paano po i-achieve ang mga confidential activities na safely and and hindi po magulo. Would you know, Ms. Acosta, kung saan po dinala ni Colonel Lachika yung 125 million? Di ko po na po alam, ma'am, kasi sa kanya na po yung discretion. Kung hindi po niya discretion yun, ma'am. Sa kanya na po yung Please trabaho. Please understand, kayo po ang special disbursing officer. 
you're supposed to be the person doing the payment of this amount to various payees. Hindi po ito discretion ni Colonel Chica, ma'am. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Ano nga po ulit trabaho ni Colonel Chica? Siya po ang head head ng aming BPSPG at siya po ang inatasan as, six, as security officer po ng Office of the Vice President. And of course, you will agree with me, iba po ang trabaho ng security officer sa trabaho ng special disbursing officer. Tama po ba? As a matter of yes, fact, kaya po, po kayo'y banded. Kaya po kayo nire-require ng fidelity fund is yes. to take care of these public funds. Si Colonel Lachika po ba? Covered po ba siya ng fidelity bond? Hindi po, ma'am. I don't think so because it's not part of his job to disburse public funds. Pero siya po ang may alam, ma'am, lalo na pag-implement sa mga confidential activities po, ma'am. Just like um, surveillance and monitoring po kung okay po pa dyan, itayo Example, yung satellite office. Even when he is aware of the implementation of the surveillance activities, you, as a special disbursing officer, should be the one actually paying all the recipients. Do you understand, Ms. Acosta? I understand po, ma'am. Then why did you give all the money to Colonel Achika? Because po, my auto post. Si Ma'am Inday Sara na sa kanya ko po i-release kasi siya po ang nakakaalam kung paano po i-implement ang mga programs and prog programs and activities in line po sa confidential fund. Okay. Siya po ang mag-survey, surveillance and monitoring po. Sa kanya po 'yon, wala po akong alam. Ms. Acosta, I hope you realize that it is incumbent upon you as the special disbursing officer to know all the recipients of the entire 125 million. And it is totally wrong to say na wala kayong alam. Because in the first place, trabaho nyo po to disburse these funds to the various number of recipients.